This just coming into our newsroom now, Fox News alert. Two sources are now telling Fox News Molly Tibbetts has been found dead. Her body has been found, the 20-year-old rising sophomore at the University of Iowa, as you remember, vanished the evening of July 18th. She was jogging in the rural farming town of Brooklyn, a close-knit community of just about 1,500 residents. As you can remember, it has been weeks now where that community has come together. Uh, law enforcement officials, both local and at the federal level, have been searching uh, for this missing girl who was last seen while she was jogging. We have had her father um, on this program on, on multiple occasions. Uh, she, her brother, uh, her boyfriend have all been part of this search. He had just recently, in the past day or so, reluctantly returned. Her dad returned back to where he lives in California as the search had continued. He said very reluctantly, I'm being told, I sort of need to do this as the search continued. We called this sort of a halftime, a break, he had said. And now this news this morning, per two sources telling Fox News that her body has been found. Molly Tibbetts, the 20-year-old rising sophomore at the University of Iowa, her, her disappearance was completely out of character for her. She had been staying at her boyfriend's home while he had been traveling. He was working on construction about 100 miles away from that home. She was, she was dog-sitting at the time, her boyfriend said. Matt Finn, our reporter, has been on this story from the beginning. Matt, what are you learning? Um, Sandra, this morning, two separate sources telling Fox News that Molly's body was uh, found uh, near Iowa. We don't know exactly where. We don't know the circumstances. And... Um, just a tragic ending to the story. As you just said, Molly Tibbetts' father just returned to California. He was kind of closing the door on being on the ground in Iowa, but you can imagine that his heart was still there, and now, unfortunately, he's probably being called back, Sandra. Uh, and, uh, and authorities had really encouraged this search to continue, uh, both locally and the surrounding areas, as we know. And again, Matt, this news just coming in, we don't know. Uh, whereabout her body has been found. A local hog farmer had been interviewed on multiple occasions. He had turned down a lie detector test and then he had agreed to one. He passed that. Um, are you getting any indication whatsoever, Matt, about where her body has been found or, or how wide the search had been at this point? Well, you know, when we were on the ground, um, as we were leaving Iowa, there were a couple key areas that were being identified that uh, investigators were really honing in on. One of them, for example, was a car wash uh, where she was uh, la close to where she was last seen jogging. Another uh, area was a truck stop, which is right off the exit of I-80 for Brooklyn. So it seemed like as the uh, investigation expanded and everyone was acknowledging that Molly could potentially be anywhere, investigators were also kind of closing in on an area that they were trying to identify. Uh, they never told us why they were identifying these locations, some of them perhaps obvious, like that truck stop, because so many people would have been getting on and off that interstate. But this morning, sources not identifying exactly where Molly's body was found, but one law enforcement source saying that it is in Iowa. Uh, we don't know the nature of uh, her body or what exactly happened. The reward uh, was inching closer to $400,000. I'm, I'm told now that uh, the, uh, the motivation behind that reward is now going to turn on a dime, and they're now going to use that to try to find who did this to Molly. Sandra. It was an unusual search in that we didn't get a lot of updates from authorities on the ground there. They would schedule a news conference and then cancel it. That happened on multiple occasions. Matt, we still don't really know why that was. There was speculation that the person of interest was so close. Uh, authorities had even suggested that the person who took Molly was, was searching amongst them, uh, was at, attending the candlelight vigils. Um, but the bottom line is that there was really no persons of interest. As this investigation continues, I should say, while her body has found dead, the inv investigation surely continues, Matt. Yeah, you know, there was a lot of frustration on the ground because police were being so tight-lipped. And we all know that if investigators release any information, it can be used against them. And so for, for quite some time, people were pleading, give us more information. Maybe we can help you identify a suspect. But investigators never did that. And they never let on whether they had a couple key su suspects or if they were, you know, completely um, at a loss for information, Sandra. Matt Finn uh, reporting on Molly Tibbetts. Uh, two sources telling Fox News her body has been found dead. We will have more on this as we get it. Matt Finn, thank you.